Oh, baby. This baby starts off. Oh, I missed this baby. Oh, my gosh. Damn, there's no fuel. I gotta put fuel in this thing. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, he's running! Oh my gosh! Не, ну ты, ну реально, она, она, мне она барза подобается, я не знаю, но ты забачь на ней, то есть. Oh my goodness! Так, наверное, надо все-таки отъехать, да, как-то? Не, давай я тогу, давай я могу сейчас накачаю. So we had to push out the car from the garage since this thing's like the battery's really dead and we had the jumper cables but they all they're all Chinese fell apart and huh, right there and the car is just not starting we need to jump so my dad went to grab uh, some jumper jumper cables and he's gonna be back soon so you guys have no idea how much I miss that car. It's literally like, it's even though it's 2004, but I still love that car like so much. And I've been waiting for that day to come here and see the baby. So I'm gonna actually take it to my, uh, you know, actually I have to take it to the gas station first, put some gas in it. And then we're gonna go I'm gonna drive first, my dad is gonna follow me, we're gonna go to his house and I'm gonna do some work on it. I'm gonna do the brakes all the way around because the car is only like, has only like 42,000 miles so it's still like brand new, you know, body wise it's still good. Um, you know, the underneath of the car is not like so perfect but uh, hey, you know, that all can be fixed but uh, you know, it's been sitting in the garage for you know all these years you know and we just come here like once a year or so or maybe twice or even three times a year i mean uh, not twice i mean um, one time in two years basically so uh, the car just sits here you know and yeah so that's why you know and last time i was here three and a half years ago i did the oil change on it i did the, um actually the belt the belt is still in the garage let me show you the old belt so it's right here, it's gonna be hard for you to see, but it has a bunch of cracks and stuff. So yeah, and I did the oil change, did the belt, um, and I just have to also take care of the two front wheels on it because the tires always get low. The rears are actually hold air, the rears are not bad. But every time I go here, every and I come here every year, and you know the front tires are just completely flat. So I have to take care of that. It's probably corrosion between the wheel and the uh, tire itself so that's gonna you know get taken care of like i said first of all uh, i need to start it again as you saw the car started but then i shut it off so there's my dad my dad there's my dad yeah it's a toyota diesel by the way wow Let's see, let's try this out.
Oh, there we are. We're back. Everything went fine. It's just that this battery is... I just tried to start it again and it doesn't start. The battery is junk. Changing the brakes on Celica. These are all original pads and everything. Condition of the rotor, pretty bad. Um, and I have to repaint this, make it nice. Actually, the slide pins are junk. This boot is gonna be still fine, I hope. But I bought new slide pins for it. I installed new disc brake on this side, and I'm just painting the caliper and the bracket. And these are my bad pins. Just one right here, and it's bent too. It's actually bent from me trying to take it out with a chisel and a hammer, and this is no good. Technically, you could clean it up and still reuse it, like at least this one. But I have new ones. My new set right there. So I'll be using those for this side. And I have new As far as this side, it's a little easier, but still, there's a bunch of junk in there. And this one was still fine, seems like. Yeah. Pads. Now, take these clips out. Have to push the piston back in. Just putting the, I just put the bracket on. And time to put the brake pads on and the caliper. Putting new pins in, lubricate it. So this is what you get after you paint the caliper bracket. Looks good, huh? Doesn't it? Okay, now just doing the rear brakes on the Celica. The fronts are already done. Um, it's not so bad. But hey, I'm just gonna change everything. I don't like the way this rotor looks. Um, so I'll be doing that. It's pretty awesome. This uh, Celica has a independent rear suspension, so literally no solid axle, which is awesome. All right, guys. So that's all. The brakes are done, all the way around. New pads, rotors, everything. Uh, it took me a while actually to remove the rear uh, rotors. I mean the rear calipers. There's two bolts, and it's an interesting design. They go into the knuckle and um, they were really rusty, so I had to massage them, go back and forth in order to not break the bolt. Um, but it's all good, it's all done. Put some grease on the outside here. Yeah, I'm gonna put the wheel back on and that's all. Alright, so 
what I did so far to this car is I did the brakes all the way around, pads, rotors, um, changed the shocks on the trunk itself so it's holding up right now nicely. Uh, next thing what I did is uh, changed you know cabin air filter of the engine also and uh, um, the serpentine belt was replaced like almost four years ago. Uh, what else? Let's see. I mean, I cleaned the interior a little bit and all that stuff. Looks pretty good. So here's the brakes. As you can see, put some tire shine on. Looks much better. And then as far as uh, uh, the oil, the oil was replaced also almost four years ago. Um, right now what I'm doing is um, I got some distilled water because I suspect that, you know, that it's going to be the problem. The battery is actually not taking a charge. And I opened one of the caps and literally there's nothing. There's no water in there. And I can even open this one. It's probably going to be the same thing literally nothing so I'm gonna top it off all of these pores with distilled water and uh, we'll see maybe this battery is gonna come alive and then uh, what else was gonna say I mean other than that I mean I don't know I just love this car it's it's literally like it's one of those Toyotas that I really enjoy and love you know it even has sunroof and everything and here's the look at the rear brakes and we're done and actually the brake hoses as you can see right there those brake hoses uh, are all good there's no cracks on them I inspected them really well uh, so and then what else I did oh I also these tires I did the tire rotation so and these tires that are in the front right now they have a lot more tread than the back ones so I just did the tire rotation and uh, also I had to take these two tires this one and that one to the tire shop because it was leaking they were both leaking between the wheel and the tire so it had to be repaired so that was done too and as you can see it has new weights and it was all balanced and good and right now it's not gonna be uh, leaking anymore because every time I would come back to uh, Europe and I would open up the garage the front tires would be just flat completely so